Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions Crystal Opening. So we've got two six-star crystals that we're going to open up, and we have this Cavalier Woman of Power crystal, which I've gotten nothing good out of. I've opened up quite a few of them, and I haven't gotten anything good. All right, uh, here are the champions that I can get out of here. And out of all of these, the only champion that would make me excited would be a six star kitty pride because that would awaken my six star kitty pride other than that uh there is no one on this list even as a six star um, unless they're a new champion new champions are always welcome but yeah not really uh, interested in any of these other than a six star kitty pride. All right, so let's go ahead and spin this one out. Now I will open up the other two and we'll see how I pad the video. You know, the video needs to be at least 10 minutes, uh, but I'm not going to make you guys sit here and uh, I'm not going to stretch it out. Uh, I will open the crystals right away. And then if you want to stay, you can stay. I'll probably pick a champion and, and show a little bit of info on them. All right. Do we break our streak? No, nope, we don't break our streak. Same crapola out of these. Fortunately, they're, they're uh, free, so it uh, doesn't really matter. All right. Let's go on over here. And let me open up my most wanted... Uh, so you can see them at the bottom down there. The only champion that remains of my most wanted is Cosmic Ghost Rider. I actually grinded for pretty much all of the other champions that I wanted. Uh, Null, I do want. He's going to be coming to the arena and I'm going to grind for him most likely. But he is also a most wanted uh, champion. Then on the right hand side, those are the champions that I have that I want to awaken the most. So any champion on that bottom row would be awesome to get. Now, I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom because the last time I did this, I opened up featured by accident. I was not happy, you know. <clears throat> so making sure that this is the uh, six star basics. There's plenty of champions that I want in the basic. Cosmic Ghost Rider's in the basic. I don't think he's not even in the featured. So opening those up, I didn't even have a chance to get my most wanted uh, champion. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, grab that one. We'll do a little pep method. Go out, go back in. Go out. And go back in. And go ahead. And like I said earlier, any new champion is welcome. I don't have even arena teams right now. Um, I have one odd one. So I need two new champions to be even uh, in the arena. Nice even teams. So any new champion, but any champion on that bottom row would be phenomenal. Other than that, you know, any champion that I do that I'm not likely to take up, you know, it is what it is. Maybe they'll get a buff in the future, but let's see what the Kabam gods have in store for me now. First one. And we have Eddie. Okay. Okay. I think that awakens him. Yep. That awakens him. Okay. I'm not upset about that. Not upset about that. It's a first time awakening. He doesn't really need to be awakened, but I'm okay. I'm okay with that. All right. Let us see what the next one is. And we're just going to spin this one out. No pep method on this one. So I'm not likely to take Heimdall up. You know, he's not horrible, but in the cosmic class, He's not really anywhere near the good uh, cosmic champions. Um, I mean, he doesn't completely, he's not completely useless, but you mainly want him on the team 
for his uh, ability to pretty much give everybody a cheat death, you know, on the team. That's pretty much what you want him for. Um, along with Angela, you can get yourself a Fury. So, you know, he doesn't really need to be awakened to do any of those things. All right. Final six star. What do we got? New champion. And, well, it's definitely not a new champion, but I don't mind that. She needs more SIGs. Um, this should be 40. Yep. 40. I don't mind that. She actually needs more SIGs. After her rework, she needs more SIGs. This is the first time I have duped Angela since her rework. When I first got Angela, I was so upset to dupe her because her signature ability was useless until they came out with Act 6 and there was a Mr. Sinist. And it was a Mr. Sinist? No, uh, Symbiote Supreme. And then her signature ability, which was to basically uh, reduce their chance to nullify. And you had this buffed up uh, Symbiote Supreme who liked to take your buffs. Well, all of a sudden, her signature ability became awesome for that fight. And I actually, it's on the channel if you want to do a search for it. I actually did manage to get a one shot at a time where people were, were doing a two, three, four revives or more on that fight. But since she's been reworked, her signature ability is really good and you want more um, signature levels on her. And I've been wanting to put more, uh, you know, get more levels, but I'm not gonna put any signature stones into her. So that's actually a good one. That's actually good. She's actually um, uh, much better the higher her SIG is. So not mad about that. So I still have uneven arena teams, but they weren't too bad. I got a, a, a first time awakening, even though we're not gonna use uh, that awakening really. And we've got more SIGs on Angela, which is actually a good thing. Makes her better. All right, so that's gonna do it guys. I will uh, give you a little blurb at the end on uh, Angela because for me, that's the, a uh, big one uh, out of this one. The first time awakening for Heimdall, yeah, but I like more SIGs on Angela. So I'll give you a little bit of info on Angela, all right? So take care, sit back, watch it if you like. If not, I hope you all have a blessed day. Oh